Hi everyone, Eric with Bailey Industrial. We're looking at a CNC roll bender here today, the R CNC 55 machine. We're going to do a quick instructional video on how to calibrate the encoder. Let's take a look at it. So the first thing we got to do obviously is turn the machine on. Takes a second. And that top roll needs to reference itself first off. So we're going to clear our reset here. Give it a moment. Then it wants to search off its reference point. We're just going to hit search. And that top roll is going to reference itself. And that's done. And then we are now ready to roll. So now we're going to actually start to calibrate the encoder, which is right here. We want to calibrate it to the length of material that we are going to use for that specific bend that we're going to produce. So let's get our material in the machine here. I'm going to put it in just so that it branches across all the rolls and then we're going to hit our manual mode button on the controller hit our down arrow which is going to move our top roll down and what we're trying to do here is just provide pressure we want to seat it in the rolls but we don't want to actually bend it we just want a good holding pressure once that is set, then we're going to make a reference point using a soapstone or a paint marker on this side of the roll. Take our square, put it on the side of the machine, and we want to make a line basically on that front face of that roll so that we know where that is starting at. So now we have a reference line here. We're ready to roll this material straight through until we get to the end. To do that, we're just going to hit our arrow button here and roll that material through. We're going to wait till it gets pretty much in the center of that shaft on this roll, and then we're going to make another mark like we did before on this side of the roll. As close to this edge of this roll that we can get it to. Now what we need to do is take our tape measure and measure that distance from the line that we just put down to this line here. I've got 117 millimeters. So now that we have the reference lines on the material and we know that distance between those lines, which was 117 millimeters, we're going to hit the home button. We're going to hit the upper right corner of this screen three times. And then we're going to enter a password in the password screen of 2275. That takes us to the calibration. We're going to right arrow one time in the calibration and now we're into the IMP factor for the encoder. We're going to take the number that's in the zero encoder screen which is 75519 and divide that by 117. That gives us a number of 645.461. We're going to move that decimal point over to the 6. We're going to touch our IMP factor and we're going to put in that value which was 6.454 six one and we're going to hit OK and to go back to our home screen yes we want to save that go back to manual mode and now as you see here it's in inches if you take 117 and transfer that into inches it ends up being 46 inches so the next step now is to teach the machine the radiuses that we want to produce now I've pulled the material off to the right hand side uh, it's loose in the machine. And what we want to establish now is hold pressure for that top roll. We want to bring that top roll down, but not actually bend the material, just provide hold pressure. And to do that, in the controller, we're going to touch profile here and hit calibrate. And we're going to use these buttons to move that top roll. These are just fast responding buttons for that roll and slow responding buttons for that roll. So I'm going to get that roll down 
to just provide pressure on that material without bending it. It seems to be okay. So our hold pressure is at 595. So now that we have our hold position established where we're just holding the material, we're not actually making a bend on it, we want to document that, our hold position, and then we're going to document all our subsequent bends here moving forward on here as well. So the next step to do on this is to make a reference line on the material on the side of the roll. We don't need the square for this. We just want a reference line so we know where that bend kind of starts from. Then we're going to put more pressure on that roll and actually make a bend. We're not concerned with what radius it ends up being. Uh, we could use a template or a radius gauge to eyeball the radius if we want for right now. And we're not too concerned about the distance that it's rolling either. We're going to measure these later on and we'll go over that in a little while. So the first thing we're going to do is just give it some pressure and actually put a little bend on the material. Then we're going to hit next and it's going to ask us to press the foot pedal to make that bend. So we're going to hit the foot pedal, roll the material through until we get a decent length of a radius and then stop and then make another reference line at the end of that bend so that you know that this is the area where the bend took place. So now that we have bend number one complete, we want to document the position of that roll. Uh, it's down further in its position, so we want to document position one at 806 in this case. Now we're ready for bend number two. So we're going to take our soapstone or paint marker, just make another reference line there. And we're going to apply more pressure on that roll. Maybe putting a more severe bend, whichever you want to do here. Not too concerned with what it is. Then we're going to press the foot pedal to make the bend. Remember we're at 988 now. And we're going to roll the material through for a certain distance. Doesn't matter how long it is, you just want to get a, a radius that you're able to measure. And then stop there. So now that we have bend number two complete, we're at 988 for the position on the top roll. We want to again document that roll position number two at 988. Now we're ready to take the material out and measure those radiuses to see what we actually got. So now that we have the material with some bends on it, we have it out of the machine laying on the floor. We have our bends labeled as bend number one and two and we have the lines signifying where those bends kind of are in the material. So we're going to use the digital arc meter here, which comes with all the CNC roll benders. It's a very important tool uh, to have because what we want to do is measure this radius that we produced here based off that roll position that we had for position one, which in this case was 806. So we're going to take our radius gauge and just put it in this roughly the center of that bend get a good reading. In this case we have 24.68. So what we're going to do in our notes here is put equals 24.68 for our radius. Same thing for radius 2. We're going to take our arc meter, measure the inside of it, and in this case 21.56. So we have a tighter radius on position two. So now we have that radius, what that produced at that roll position. So now we have the information as to what radiuses were produced with the, with the roll position. Now we can enter that information into the controller and we can actually build a program at this point. So now that we have the radiuses generated, we have the information for them on our sheet of paper here. Now we want to put that into the controller. The first thing we got to do is make sure that the controller is teamed up with the mechanical position of the two bottom rollers because these rollers are movable. 
And basically what we're going to do is we're going to go into our profile mode. We're going to go into enter and change. We're going to hit edit. And we're going to hit roll position. And it gives us then our three different layouts that we can have for our lower roll position. You can see position one, the rolls are close together. Two, they're kind of in the middle. And three, they're spread out real wide. And that's correlating to the mechanical position that these shafts are in. If you remove these guards on the inside and outside of these shafts, these shafts can be placed in three different positions. One, two, and three. Right now we're in the middle, so we're at number two, which is right there. So we're set correctly, mechanically, and everything. So we're going to hit save. And now that position is now saved and we're ready to enter our information off of our bend radiuses. So now that we have the roll position correct mechanically at the machine, we also have it correct at the controller. We're on roll position two. We're going to hit next. And now we're ready to enter the information based off the notes that we took for roll position and the radiuses that it produced. So the first position was position one, which is 806. So that's our Y position. So we're going to put in 806 and hit OK. And then the radius that it produced was 24.68 inches. So we're going to enter that radius here. And hit OK. Now that parameter is set for that first bend. And then we're going to move over to the right here and go to number two. Number two position was 988. Hit OK. The radius that it produced was 21.56. And hit OK. So now that we have the information in the controller for the radiuses and the position of the top row, we're going to hit Confirm. We're going to want to save these points. So hit Save. Now we're going to name the file. So hit Change Name takes us to the keypad. In this case, we'll just call this file ABC. Hit enter. And then hit save. And that profile is saved in the controller. So now that our program is created and saved in the controller, we can now run that program. So we're going to hit our next button here from our saved profile. Takes us back to the main screen. We'll hit automatic. Then we'll hit next in the automatic screen. And then we'll see our file name with our roll position and then to run the program we would just simply hit automatic hit the foot pedal and that operation would start with that first radius of 24 inches and then moving on through to the second radius which was at 21 inches well thanks for watching i hope you found it informative and helpful um, if you have any questions definitely give us a call here or check us out at bailey.com thanks for watching